Look. And the second one was on abortion. As I said when I uh, um, when this hit as I was getting on the plane to go down to Alabama, um, this is about a lot more than abortion. I, haven't, I hadn't read the whole opinion at that time. But this reminds me of the debate with Robert Bork. Bork believed the only reason you had any inherent rights was because the government gave them to you. If you go back and look at the opening comments of the Bork Biden when I was questioning him as chairman, I said, I believe I have the rights that I have, not because the government gave them to me, which you believe, but because I'm just a child of God, I exist. I delegated by joining this union here to delegate some obligation, some rights I have to the governments for, for social good. So the idea that somehow there is a inherent right that there is no right of privacy, that there is no right. And remember the debate we had, you don't remember, but we had a debate about uh, Griswold versus Connecticut. There had been a law saying a married couple could not purchase birth control in the privacy of their own bedroom and use it. Well, that got struck down. Griswold was thought to be a bad decision by Bork, and I'm, my guess is the guy's on the Supreme Court now. What happens if you have a uh, state ch changes the law saying that that, that children who are LGBTQ can't be in classrooms with other children. Is that, is that legit under the way the de decision is written? What are the next things that are going to be attacked? Because this MAGA crowd is really the most extreme political ex organization that's existed in American history, in recent American history. You 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 like you did on voting rights, Mr. President. Mr. President, 